Hey, this is Russell Brunson, and I am so excited for right now because I have a chance to show you um, behind the scenes of a software tool that's completely changed my business, it's changed my life, and it has for over 10,000 other entrepreneurs just like you. And uh, if you're watching this, it means you probably don't know what it is or how it works yet, so I wanna actually show you a demo of how we use ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels is built up of three core programs. One is ClickFunnels, and that's the, the tool that helps you to build your funnels and be able to, to see your upsells and your downsells and be able to have like um, a visual representation of what your sales funnel actually looks like. You know, back in the day, we used to sketch these things out on napkins, and then we'd show it to a designer and hope they could figure out and actually build it where now uh, even someone like me who's got no, no technical skills whatsoever can build out amazing funnels inside of ClickFunnels. So I'm going to show you that first. The second thing I'm going to show you is a tool we created called Actionetics. And Actionetics lets you do full email follow-up funnels. It helps you send out emails or text messages. It gives you the ability to do a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff. So I'm going to uh, show you guys how to do that as well. And then the very last, I'm going to show you guys a tool called Backpack that'll, allow you to, that'll actually allow you to run your very own affiliate programs inside of ClickFunnels. So uh, I'm excited. I'm going to come and show you this right now. Um, but uh, if you look down below, there's little explainer videos little cartoon videos you can watch that give you a really quick overview about what ClickFunnels is, what Backpack is, what Actionetics is. I recommend uh, watching those videos because they'll get you excited and help you really understand um, exactly how this tool is going to change your business and change your life. And then come back and then I'm going to take you through and I'm going to actually build a funnel with you. I'm going to set up an action funnel. I'm going to show you how to set up the, the, um, the Backpack affiliate system so that way you know exactly how to use it in your company. You can use it. You can kind of follow along with me if you want or show it to one of your tech guys, your tech gals and they can set it up inside of your business for you. So that's the game plan. So I'm going to go and uh, show you guys exactly how I use ClickFunnels in my business. Okay, so to begin with, I want to welcome you inside of ClickFunnels. As you can probably tell, I'm really, really excited to show this to you. Now, if we were sitting here in a room right now, the first step um, if I was going to be building your sales funnel with you is to stand in front of a whiteboard and kind of map out like what's it going to look like and after we have that blueprint, then I would log into ClickFunnels and actually build it, okay? So um, because obviously you're not sitting here in front of me and I don't have a whiteboard, I went ahead of time and I kind of sketched out a basic sales funnel, okay? And this is a pretty traditional one that a lot of people use where the first step is, uh, is a lead magnet where we're basically we're giving somebody something in exchange for their name and their email address, right? So that'll be step number one. They come here, they give us their email address. Then on the second page, then I'm gonna try to sell them something, right? So I'm gonna have a sales video here with an order button. And if my video convinces them they need to buy, they'll click on the order button, then it takes them over to an order form. And here in the order form, they go and they put their credit card information in, they click submit. And afterwards, I wanna offer them an upsell, right? We learned this from McDonald's. You know, do you want a fry, you want fries with that? Do you want a Coke with that? And so with most sales phones, we like having upsells. And we call upsells one-time offers, OTOs. So we make a very special one-time offer. Inside of ClickFunnels, we can make this really easily where it's a one-click upsell. So they just click on a button and automatically rebuild their credit card for the upsell. And after they bought this product, they would take them to a thank you page thanking them for their orders. So that's kind of a typical sales funnel. And we can build that or we can build obviously way more complex things inside of ClickFunnels if we want. Or we can make really, really simple things as well. So I'm going to show you guys though how we can build out this sales funnel right here inside of ClickFunnels. So the first step is to come right here and click on the Add New Funnel button. When I do that, it's going to ask you initially what's your goal. Is your goal to collect emails? Is your goal to sell a product? Or is your goal to host a webinar? Okay, now, depending on which one of these things you choose, there's different types of, uh, of sales funnels you can use. For example, with hosting webinar, if I click on that, I can do a live webinar or I can do an automated webinar replay, all right? But I'm gonna go back and actually choose sell your product because this is more similar to the type of sales funnel we're trying to create. So I click on that and then it says I can choose a, a sales funnel or I can choose a product launch funnel or a membership site funnel. Now this funnel up here is more similar to a basic sales funnel. So I'm gonna choose that, I choose that right here, and then I can kind of name it. So I'm just called demo funnel. And I can make a tag so I can find it easy in the future. And I click on build funnel. Okay, now you can probably see that on the side here, it's created all the steps in our sales funnel. Now, notice these steps aren't quite exactly the same as these right here. So the funnel that it kind of builds for you is based on a typical sales funnel, but you can go and you can add things, you can take things away really, really easily. So right here, I've got a squeeze page, which is similar to this. I've got a sales page, similar to this. An order form, it's similar to this. Uh, an order confirmation page, I don't have up there, so I'm just gonna kill that one. I'll click on the X and that page will disappear. And then I have a thank you page just like here. So I'm only missing one page in this funnel. Can you guys guess which one it is? <laughs> yes, it's the upsell page I'm missing. So I'm gonna click on add new step. I'm gonna add an OTO page. So I'm gonna add that real quick. And after I add it, it'll drop it down here into the sales funnel. Now, as you can see, this page is kind of out of order. So the cool thing is I can grab this. I can just drag and drop it to the right spot. 
And there you go, now my sales funnel is in the correct order. Now I need to come back through and start editing each of these pages. So the first page is my squeeze page. So I click on that first, and then let me make this bigger now so you can see the whole inside of ClickFunnels. All right, so the first thing is it has different types of templates up here. So we have opt-in template sales, webinar, membership sites, affiliate, there's tons of stuff, right? But I'm obviously making an opt-in funnel. All right, so after I choose squeeze page, then I get to pick which one of these templates I want to uh, to use. Now, we're always adding more templates. There's tons of cool ones. Plus, cool thing about ClickFunnels is you'll see it's super easy to build your own templates. We've got a marketplace where you can pick other ones as well. So there's never-ending uh, options to design your page. So for this one, I'm just gonna choose this one. It's kind of simple and easy, and I like it. So I'll choose my template right here. All right, now you can see right here, it shows me the actual page. And as I start driving traffic into this funnel, I'll be able to see in real time how many visitors hit this page, how many people join my list, so how many leads do I have, and what my average conversion rates are, which are really nice to see because you can figure out like, is this page working or not? I can also really quickly click on this button right here to set up a split test. So if I wanna try two different versions of the page, um, it's really easy to do. Now in the past, if I wanted to do split tests, it was always so hard, where now in ClickFunnels it becomes really, really easy. All right, so I'm gonna come right here, I'm gonna edit this page. All right, now as you can tell, this uh, this page is pretty simple and pretty easy, right? And so if you want, you can come in here and uh, you know just the basic things you can do is come here and just click and edit the headline really easy. So get my cool thing now. Um, and if you want, you know, you can shrink the headline, you can make it bigger just really easily like that. Um, and then that's kind of what, you know, a lot of page editors allow you to edit things. But what makes ClickFunnels really different is not only can you edit things, you can grab things and you can move them around. Okay, now, I don't know any other page editors right now that can do something even close to that. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? But it gets even better than that because not only can I can I add things, I can move things around, I can add elements. So anytime I find these little plus boxes, I click on that, it gives me the ability to add a whole bunch of different things. I can add headlines, images, text boxes, buttons, I can add videos, I can add progress bars, I can add surveys, I can add a whole bunch of really cool things. So for example, I'm gonna add just a video right here. That's kind of cool. Now I got a video right there in the middle of my page if I like that. Um, the other cool thing is let's say I want to I want to kind of change the structure of this page a little bit. If I want, I can come here. I'm going to make this page a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to come here and I'm just going to add in two blocks. Where I can take this video now and I'm going to move it over here. Now I have a video on this side. And maybe I want to move my opt-in form over this side. Look, I don't have to have any technical skills at all. I can just grab it, drag it, and drop it, which is about all the technical skills I personally have, so it makes it nice and easy for me. And now I've got a cool page that looks kind of like that. Now for this, I'm probably gonna make the headline a little bit bigger. So again, I don't have to call my tech guy up. I just click around and boom, it's bigger. I might make this one a little bigger too. This is how I build my pages now. I just keep clicking around until things look awesome which is nice. I don't know about you, but in the past when I would try to create um, really cool things, a lot of times I'd go and have to like call my designer or my developer and have them change things a million different times and this is just so much easier. So this blue background is kind of cool, but maybe it doesn't match my brand, right? So I'm gonna click on settings here. I'm gonna click right here on background settings. I can go and I can change the background image. Now there's a whole bunch of different uh, background images already kind of default in here, so you can pick one of these or you can upload your own. So add that one. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Um, let's say I wanted to add like a progress bar. I love progress bars. So I'm going to add a progress bar here. I just click on the little uh, element selector, and there's a whole bunch of different elements again. I'm going to click on progress bar. Check that out. It's kind of cool. And I can click on this, and I can uh, I can change a bunch of things if I wanted. So I can change it from flat if I want to do animated stripes, which is kind of cool, right? I can change this to... Um, um, 50% done, or maybe I want to keep it with almost there, but I want this bar to be 50%, but I want it to be 75%. That looks kind of cool. Um, I like that a lot. I can also bold that text in there. Maybe I'm going to move that up above the headline. That looks kind of cool. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, I could come right here. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to move this progress bar above the opt-in form. That's kind of cool looking. Move it up a little bit. And then the video, maybe I want to add a countdown clock. So I come in here and I try to find the countdown clock element. So I've got a countdown clock. It's kind of dark here. Let me make it white so you can see a little better. And then I'm going to transition it from text only to circles. Looks kind of cool, I think. And let's see. And now I've got a really cool countdown clock. Now this page is here. It's getting better and better. It just looks awesome. And it didn't take me knowing any magic skills. I just copied and pasted and moved things. I can save it now. And I click on preview, I can see what the page is going to look like when visitors come to my website. 
maybe I think, you know, maybe I don't want this video there. Maybe I want an image instead. So I can just go and I can delete it. And I can come and I can just add in an image. I click on image and I'll add an image there. I'll put it above this. And I can go find an image that um, that I have. I'll paste my image right here. Now I've got a picture of my book. Okay, pretty simple and pretty easy. And again, maybe I'm just like, ah, oh, you know what? This progress bar is no good. I can throw it in the trash and it's gone. Okay, and maybe I want the countdown clock over here. Or maybe it would look really cool in the headline. I don't know. I can move things around and it's so much fun. Yes, see that? Like literally back in the past, I'd have a designer, he'd create something, give it to me. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. And I'd ask him to change it. And 24 hours later, send it back. I'm like, ah, oh, I don't like that. And I'd ask him to change it. And we go back and forth and back and forth. And a week later, we'd have something done. We're now like, I can literally, you guys see how easy this is, right? Like I, I don't have any technical skills whatsoever. And I'm able to look at this and drag and drop and just make this thing as amazing as, as I want. I can make it match my dream and my vision uh, however I however I would like to do it. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna add in a video here. Now I got a video underneath there if that's what I want. I can do anything I want because it's my page and I should be able to do what I want, right? So that's how easy it is to edit not only this page, but any page inside of ClickFunnels. So I just wanna show you guys that and uh, because it's so simple and so easy. So let me come back to the funnel view now. You'll see page number one of my funnel is finished. Now I'm gonna come right here and click on sales page. If you remember from our little sketch right here, the next thing we got is our core offer, our sales page, we're gonna sell something. So I'm gonna come right here I'm gonna find a sales page that I like. So there's a whole bunch of them in here. You can scroll through and find the ones you like the best. Um, I'm probably gonna use a really basic one. I'm just gonna use this one, I kinda like that. So I'm gonna choose this template right here. Okay, so I added that page template and then just like I did for the squeeze page, I can log in, I can edit things, I can delete things, I can add my logos, I can move things around. It's very simple and easy to do. I'm not gonna do that right now because, uh, you know, because of, you know, for the sake of time, but it's very easy to go in there and edit that. Now I'm gonna move on to the order form. Now the order form for me is probably my favorite part because in the past, um, if I ever wanted to do really cool looking order forms, it was hard. If I used Infusionsoft or Entreport or ClickBank or any of the other tools out there, they give you order forms that they typically don't match your brand, they're not that good looking, and you're kind of stuck with them, but that's all that we really have. In ClickFunnels, you can come down here and you can choose any one of the order form templates you like. It's very simple, so I'm gonna choose this one right here. And then uh, it's very easy now to edit it and make it so that the look and feel matches my brand and make it look really, really awesome. It's kind of cool when you see this, you'll be able to see how many visitors hit your order form, how many people fill in their, their contact information, how, much, how many people purchase, what your conversion rates are, everything here from this little dashboard, which is kind of cool. You can even set up order form split test, which is awesome. Uh, but I think my favorite thing is the fact that if you are using a, a company like Infusionsoft or Entreport, we integrate with them. So you can still use those shopping carts and integrate. Or if you want, ClickFunnels has its own internal shopping cart as well. We uh, use Stripe as a backend. You can plug in Stripe and instantly you can start taking sales on, on your website, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna come here into the order form and edit it just so you can see how simple and easy it is okay now i don't know about you but in the past if i ever had an order form and i wanted to change or edit something this is where um, we always would have tons and tons and tons of technical issues because there's so many little things that are happening inside of uh inside of an order form and if a tech guy moves a field it could mess up the whole thing in fact i can't tell you how many nightmares i've had of that and that's why one of the other reasons why i love click so much is that i can grab things i can move things around i can drag and drop and i'm not going to mess things up no matter what i do i can't break it and so that's kind of something that's really, really comforting to me and probably to you as well so i want to show you how i can take this order form which is a pretty good looking order form but i can add in my logos like i just showed you and i can make this look really really cool so i'm going to just do a couple little things. I'm gonna make this uh, make this a little bit wider. Uh, I'm gonna add two columns in here because things will be kind of cool. And let's say I wanted to add a video. Okay, one thing I found in order forms is that by adding a video that shows people how to fill out the order form, it increases conversion. Which sounds like a goofy weird thing, but it works. So I'm gonna have a video right here teaching people how to fill out this order form. Right? Then I'm gonna add the order button here. I'm gonna add the credit card field right here. I'm gonna add this way they can pick what product they're ordering, add my Visa and MasterCard logos, add their email address, and boom, check out how awesome that order form looks and how easy it was. I come down here, let's say I wanna pull my 30 day money back guarantee block right there. Hmm, I'm gonna make this two columns, that way I can put the 30 day money back guarantee there and the secure payment there. I can just delete this whole section here. And maybe I wanna add some urgency on my order form. So I click on the little plus button, I can come right here and I can add a countdown clock like I did before. So I'll come right here and uh, there's a whole bunch of different elements here. Like I said, you've probably seen some of these before, but I'll add a countdown clock here. 
Uh, I love making the circle one, so I'll add a circle one like that, make it a little bit bigger. That yeah, looks cool. And I have some urgency here on my uh, actual order form, which is kind of cool. And maybe maybe I'll add in um, uh, another progress bar to show them that they're almost to the end. So I had a progress bar here. They're on the, like they're on the order form. So they're you know let's say eighty five percent of the way there. Um, flat colors cool. I like I really like the stripes. So I add that up here. Um, Let's see, I can add that in a couple different places. Maybe I'll move it to the top here. That looks kind of cool. Um, or I could move it underneath the headline here. That looks kind of cool too. So kind of it's up to you how you want to do it. You know, that's my favorite thing about this is that um, I don't have to call a designer if I want to move something or edit things around. I can just drag and drop and be like, all right, that looks great. I think it looks amazing that way. And then I can save it. And then I can preview it and see exactly what my order form is going to look like for other people. Isn't that awesome? That quick, I made one of the best looking order forms I think I've ever seen. All right, so I'll exit that, and I just wanna kinda of show you guys how simple and easy it is to order form. The same thing is true with, uh, with upsell pages. Now in the past, if you ever wanted to do like a one-click upsell, it took all sorts of insane amounts of programming and technical things. In fact, I remember the first time um, we wanted to do uh, the first time we wanted to do an, an upsell, um, I, uh, I was using Infusionsoft and I had to hire someone. It cost me $2,500 for them to, to custom design it so I could do one-click upsell. It didn't make any sense. Where now I do is I click select template, I plug in my video, uh, I click one button and instantly the one-click upsell works, okay? And you don't need any tech guys or anyone, it just, it just works, which is one of the best things about ClickFunnels. All right, so there's the upsell page. I do the exact same thing for the thank you page as well. Um, and I hope you guys are seeing how simple and how easy this uh, this really is. Um, it's 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 clicking, it's dragging and dropping. It's just kind of figuring out what you want instead of having to tell a programmer and a desire a designer and all these people what to do and the order to do it. You just kind of drag and drop and move things around until it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, and it's just the way that this kind of thing should be. It should be more difficult than that. All right. Okay, so you guys have seen how simple it was to set up the sales funnel we created right here, right? We've got our, our lead magnet, our core offer, we've got our order form, we've got our upsell, we've got our thank you page. And it's literally drag and drop. It doesn't take rocket science. It takes somebody looking at something they want, dragging and dropping and moving and adding elements and just making it the way that you want it to look and feel. It doesn't take a tech person anymore. It's something that you and I can actually do. In fact, when my uh, when my partner started building ClickFunnels, their entire goal initially was, if we can build it so simple that Russell can do it, then we've succeeded. Okay, now I wanna stress that this isn't just for sales funnels like this. This works for all types of funnels. For example, this right here is one of my high ticket funnels. I built the whole thing inside of ClickFunnels. And all I did is I dragged and dropped and I moved people around and I put people's pictures where they were supposed to be and, and that simple, I built out my high ticket sales funnel. The exact same thing was true when I built my automated webinar funnel. I did the same thing, I dragged and dropped, I added images, I added my logo, I put in you know, the pop-ups, like everything happened the exact same way just right here inside of ClickFunnels. And again, it's so simple and so easy. When I launched my very first book, and I wanted, I didn't want to just you know sell a book, I wanted to make this thing a bestseller. And so what did I do? I logged inside ClickFunnels, and I built out a page. We sold over 30,000 copies of my book, became a USA Today bestselling author, and guess how I did it? You're right, I did the whole thing right here inside of ClickFunnels, right? I added a headline, then a second headline, then I added a video, and uh, this two-step order form element here. This is just an element here inside of ClickFunnels. You can add this to any one of your order forms. It's very simple and very easy to do, and this whole thing, just like every one of my other pages, was all built out inside of ClickFunnels. It's so simple and so easy to do. All right, now some people ask me, Russell, this is amazing, but can it do membership sites? And the answer is obviously yes, it can. It can do membership sites too. Uh, in fact, this is a membership site I created for my $25,000 program. And you come in here, it's so simple and easy to set up. The first step is you come in here and you define your lesson sections, right? So I had Welcome to Ignite was my lesson number one. And I had module number one, the blueprint. Module number two, the secret formula. And inside of each of these modules, I have little lessons. Now check out easy as I scroll to the bottom here. There's a button that says add new lesson section. So I added one called module one, module two. I just add these less lesson sections really, really easily. See, I just title right here, module one. And then uh, I, I would save it. Then inside the module, I just add a bunch of lessons. So I added, you know, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. And you just quickly add the lesson. In here, it says which lesson section you want to add this lesson to. Type in the name of the lesson. You pick a page template. Add the drip delay. So you can literally have it set up where someone joins your membership site, day one, give them this one. Then two days later, unlock this. Then a week later, unlock this. You can set up a drip delay. So simple and so easy. You just pick the interval. You know, I want to open seven days later, click create lesson, then boom, after they create their account, seven days later, unlock that lesson, which is so simple and so easy. Um, I'm going to come back up here. And after I've kind of created all that, then I come into any of the pages I want to work on. And guess what? All I do is I click on open editor. 
And I do that and it opens up the exact same editor you guys are used to using. It's so simple and so easy. I can go and I can add headlines, I can add drop videos in there, I can add buttons and just makes it so simple, so easy. And really for me, like it makes the most powerful, um, the most powerful looking membership sites in the world. They just look clean, they look easy, and it, I can put these things together in, in minutes, which is just awesome, I think. I'm guessing some of you guys are probably wondering like, does ClickFunnels, can I run an affiliate program through that? And the answer is yes. In fact, there's a little tab up here called Backpack, and this is where you can run your entire affiliate program. It'll track how many active affiliates you have, how many were referred, how many sales are happening today. You can dig in deep in each of your affiliates, see how much money they're making, how you can help them, and you can basically set up an affiliate program for every single funnel inside your ClickFunnels account. All right, now while all that stuff is cool and amazing, I wanna come back to this page right here because this is the funnel we've been building out. And I just wanna kind of give you guys a glimpse of what's possible inside of ClickFunnels. Like we use it for all types of funnels, as you can see. Um, we use it for our affiliate program, we use it for our membership sites and more. But one of the most amazing things inside of ClickFunnels is a new thing that we created called Actionetics which allows you to create what we call action funnels. Okay, so right now, for example, when somebody comes to the squeeze page and they give you their email address, what happens? Now, in a typical you know, sales funnel, you're gonna then add that person to your list in MailChimp or Aweber, and you can still do that if you'd like to, or you can use a tool that we call Actionetics. And what'll happen is when somebody joins this page, imagine this, they, join, they put their email address in, and Actionetics will actually go out in real time and it finds out all the information we know about that person. What social networks are they part of? How many friends do they have? How many followers? How much money do they make? Um, and it finds out all this information in real time and brings it back to you. So now you know those that information, you can build out custom action funnels based on that. So an action funnel is kind of like a sales funnel, but the things that are happening outside of the actual website. So let me show you how this works. I come over here to Actionetics and I click on Action Funnels. Now I'm gonna create a brand new action funnel. This action funnel is gonna be Squeeze Page Action Funnel. And I'll call this a demo. Now what's gonna happen is, is um, I'm gonna create this action funnel. And this is what's gonna happen after somebody joins my list. What are all the external things that are happening to that person? So the first thing, I'm gonna add a step. Let's say the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take them off other email lists. Okay. Don't you hate when you join someone's list and you're getting like 15 emails from them at once? When you join someone's, when you join my, my list, I want to take you off the other email list. So I'm going to have this, this is an action. I'm going to have this happen immediately. I click add new funnel step. So the first thing you do when you join the list, I'm going to take you off my other email list. Second step now is I'm going to send email number one. So send welcome email. I'm going to have that go out immediately. So I click on, zero, you know, I leave it at zero. I click on add new step. And then there, that's going to be email number one. Then I want to maybe send them a text message. Let's say, welcome text. So I'll click on a text message, have that go out immediately, and I'll have that as well. All right, so when they first join the, the my funnel, they're gonna be taken off of all my other email lists, they're gonna get a welcome email, and they'll get a text message to actually welcome them. Now I'm gonna go and add another step. So this will be email number two, which let's say this email is about my free gift. So free gift email. So that'll, that one's gonna go out after day number one. I add that here to my funnel. Then let's say day number two, I'm gonna send them an email um, about um, my special offer. I'll have that one go out day number two, click add new funnel. That email set to number, day number two. And I can say day number three, um, invite them to my webinar email. Have that one go out after day three. I can keep on building out my entire sequence like that. Now maybe at the end of the sequence, now I wanna add them back on my other lists. So add them back to my other lists. I make that an action and we'll do that one after day five add new funnel step, and boom, now this is an action funnel. Do you guys see how powerful this is? So I can send out emails, text messages, I can move them around to different lists. Um, in the future, we've got a bunch of other really cool things happening where you can actually change the funnel dynamically based on, on what they do. Um, you can also set up different criteria. So let's say send uh, this email out, but only send out um, this email if, and you can add rules here. So if their social following, they've got more than, um, Let's say they got more than uh, you know fifty thousand people on Twitter. Then send this email. Or if they make you know if they've purchased this product, then send the email. And you can do a bunch of custom nerdy stuff that's way over my head. But you can do cool stuff like that as well inside of Action Funnels. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you inside of Action Funnels is the email editor because it's one of my favorite parts. So after I decide this is the email that's going to go out, I can come in here. I can edit that email. So I'm going to pick one. Um, I'm going to pick this one right here. I say use this template. Now, as you can see, it'll show me how many people currently are in this step in the queue. So maybe there's, you know, 10 people here, 30 people here, 100 people here, 5,000 people in this step. So show me how many people are in the queue for this step, 
how many emails have been sent, how many have been opened, how many have been clicked, so you can see kind of what's happening here. And I click right here and open email editor, and I can edit this email. And just like I showed you how simple it was with the click funnels editor, I can come in here, I can add images really quick, I can add in buttons, I can do a whole bunch of really, really cool things. Visit my website now. Um, and that's how simple and easy it is to use the ActionX email editor, which by far is one of my favorite things. Um, all the other email services I've used always make my emails so ugly. It's hard to drag and drop. I can't make them look amazing where I can do that here inside the ActionX email editor. I can save it. I can preview it so my email looks like. And that's kind of how that works. So you guys are getting this. You see how powerful ClickFunnels is? especially when you tie in Actionetics and some of these other tools. Now when somebody joins your list, you don't just get a, sta a standard email follow-up sequence that goes out to them. You can start building out custom action sequences just for them. All right, so now that we've kind of seen a broad overview of ClickFunnels and Actionetics and Backpack and everything that we can do, I'm curious. How many of you guys think that ClickFunnels is amazing? How many of you guys are looking at this now saying, man, I can cancel my autoresponder service. I can cancel my website hosting. I can cancel my membership site software. I can cancel all of these tools I've been using to glue together my sales funnels. And now I can do everything. My entire business can now run inside of one single platform. If you guys are feeling that way right now, let me know. All right, so I don't know about you, but every time I play with this, I get more and more excited. I hope you can now see kind of how I'm using it in my companies, but also more importantly, how you can use it inside of your company. And so what I wanna do right now is I wanna give you a free two-week trial so you can go in there and just play with it. Okay, you may already have a ClickFunnels account, and so hopefully this re-inspired you and is gonna get you in taking action. If you don't have one yet though, then now is the time. Get a free trial, play with it. You know, if you don't wanna play with it, send it to your tech guy, your tech gal, let them play with it. But I promise you that as you start using this tool in your business, um, first off, what I found is that most people, our average ClickFunnel member right now saves between $500 and $1,000 per month by using ClickFunnels. They can get rid of so many other software tools and, and things that are more expensive, that are bloated, that you don't actually need. You no longer have to glue together like 20 different things just to create a simple sales funnel. Um, you can do everything now inside of ClickFunnels. And so again, I wanna give you a free two week trial so you can play with it, try it out, and the link should be down below. Create your account and go have fun inside of ClickFunnels.